Hey guys, I'm Sarah Duso. You may have noticed that I took a hiatus from creating YouTube videos, or you may not have noticed at all. I gave birth to a baby girl in January, and I decided to take a break from filming YouTube videos because of the lack of childcare in conjunction with the pandemic. So I am back today to share with you guys some postpartum modifications if you have a diastasis recti. This video ideally is for anyone that is six weeks or more postpartum and is looking to get back into working out, whether that's with the Peloton or maybe my faster rate of fat loss program. So here are some of the most common modifications that you're going to want to take. Number one move you are not going to want to do is the push up if you have a DR. Uh, so instead of doing a push-up down on the ground, you want to find a bench. You can even do this on the ground. I'm going to show you on my finer form bench. You're going to come on down and just give me a regular chest press to work the same muscles you would in a, in a push-up. Next up, instead of doing a plank, I'm going to show you how to do it on an elevated surface. Again, it really helps to have something like a bench around. So you guys probably know what I'm going to show you. A modification to a plank on the ground is going to be, number one, your option is an elevated plank. So inhale, exhale, get that good form, maintain your core connection. And a second alternative is going to be a transverse abdominal contraction in a quadruped pose. And we're going to lift up our knees for a count of five. So here you go. You're in that position. So inhale, exhale, lift up the knees for a count of five, and then come on down maintaining your core connection. So while your knees are up, you're engaging your core, you're engaging your transverse abdominals. So inhale, exhale, belly button draws in and up, pelvic floor lifts up, and you try to maintain that stabilization in the core while your hip bones are pointing forward. All right, so I'm gonna come on down onto my bench. I'm gonna show you guys this move with a uh, lat pullover. So to make any move more friendly towards rehabbing your diastasis, you're gonna come on down onto your bench, place your right heel on your left knee, inhale, as you exhale, draw your belly button in and up, press your right heel into your left foot and lift up the pelvic floor. So the next move that I'm gonna show you is a modification for any type of ab move that you would do on your back that typically if you have a DR would cause coning or doming in your abs. So I'm talking about leg lifts specifically in some of the more challenging moves. So I'm going to actually show you this demonstration again on a bench. So instead of doing a leg lift, we're going to go into doing a heel tap. Again, showing you on this bench. Come on down your side. Roll onto your back. So inhale, exhale. Give me that TA contraction. Lower that left foot down and back. Another modification for an ab move like a plank or a leg lift is going to be a bird dog. I'm going to show you that right now. So if there's a move that is like a bent over row and you want to add in more abs, come and give me a bird dog with a row. Now I like doing this move on a bench because I have a greater range of motion. If you have a diastasis, some other moves that you're going to want to avoid are things like a burpee or a mountain climber. If you have a burpee in your workout, an alternative is hands come down and just do it on an elevated surface. Again, I already showed you what the one was for a plank. If you have something like a mountain climber, we're going to come on down to all fours. And we're going to just lift up one leg into a fire hydrant. If you have something in the faster way, like a giant mountain climber, which looks like this. Instead, I'm going to say, let's do this ab move standing up. So hands come behind ears. Exhale. Elbow to knee. Whew. All right. So those are about all the moves that I'm going to show you today, mainly because I really think that if you have five or six great modifications in your tool belt, you're still going to be able to have an effective workout while still working the same body parts that the workout is prescribing. So number one, we're going to skip push-ups. We're going to do a chest press instead on our exercise bench. Number two, we are going to skip those planks. We're going to do them on an elevated surface, or we are going to be in quadruped pose and lift up our knee for about five to ten seconds then we are going to skip those leg lifts instead you're going to give me heel taps 
And then the last few moves, instead of doing a mountain climber, we are going to do a fire hydrant. And instead of a giant mountain climber, you're just going to stand up and work those obliques while standing. In today's video, I used the finer form bench. It's one of my favorites. It is super lightweight, so it's easy to move from place to place. You can get a whole body workout using just this bench with weights or body weight, targeting the hamstrings, glutes, back, obliques, abs, and more. Uh, I will share more information below this video so you can go ahead and get your very own bench so that you can get to working out again. If you want more great modifications, check out the rest of my workout videos. Make sure you click subscribe. And if you're not sure if you have a diastasis recti, make sure you go ahead and click this video to see if you do. And then check out these videos to make sure that you have the exercises and the resources to rehab that gap that you may have. I'm Sarah, and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, and check out the finer form bike.